this is a lesson for collectors like me, I guess. It pays to open your Funko Pop boxes from time to time to check if the product is damaged. But at the end of the day, again, to each his own. Hey collectors! New week, new video, and today's spotlight is on Mew, one of my favorite Pokemons. In fact, our cat is named after Mew. If you want to check that out, follow them on Instagram, that's at poke.meow, so you can see Mew and Eevee's adventures at home for now. Plus, I will also be sharing a quick story about how I managed to dodge a major disappointment over a pop with the help of... Bully Boy Collectibles. My name is Sas De Malanta and you're watching Sas Place, your go-to channel for random toys and collectibles. Before anything else, here's a quick refresher. 90s kids would probably remember Mew as one of the major Pokemons that have been featured in Pokemon the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, which was released way back in 1998. And you'll probably see Mew again in the remake called Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. Now, Mew is a pink mythical psychic type Pokemon which does not evolve into or from any other Pokemon. I'm very very happy to catch one for my collection so let's go straight to unboxing. This is under Pop Games by the way with Pop number 643. So there's this card-like background with the swirls because Mew is a psychic Pokemon. If you buy other Funko Pops, you'll actually see a different background. So you'll find a fire symbol if it's a fire type Pokemon. You'll find a lightning symbol if it's an electric type of Pokemon and so on. So yeah, so since Mew is a psychic Pokemon, you can see swirls. Mew is also enclosed in this type of plastic insert. So there are two cards which I really like because it's more secured. However, let me give you a tip. You need to lift the tail first so it won't get stuck once you remove Mew from the plastic insert. So there, you can take her out safely without damaging any part of the pop. Let me remind you to be very very careful because this stand isn't really super sturdy. This is the typical pose of Mew and Funko was able to get the features correctly from the pink round face, wide snout, triangular ears, blue eyes, short arms, super large legs or paws, and the long tail. They added a stand to make it seem like Mew is floating which is very cute but also quite risky. By risky, I mean the stand easily gets broken. In fact, it's also true for other Funko Pop characters. I've consulted other collectors and they did say that if you're not very careful, the stand can easily snap into two. Actually, the first Mew that I received already got broken even before I got the chance to open it. Not gonna lie, I was so disappointed because I thought I would have to deal with the broken item which I bought for 585 pesos. The pop wasn't totally detached but it seems that it's only a matter of time before it snaps into two. So nakayuku lang si Mew the entire time. The pop was very wobbly. I thought it's a new design for pops similar to bobbleheads but it's not. Good thing Miss JC of Bully Boy Collectibles immediately assisted me within the day of receiving the broken pop. So very good job sila doon. Thank you so much. Hindi na ako na disappoint after learning that we can get a replacement since that isn't a minor defect. So that saves me the time and effort of going straight to Funko to report such issues. I'm actually not sure if that would work. I really wish Funko could make these stands sturdier or thicker so it won't get damaged during shipping. But yeah, don't be afraid to ask sellers if you have similar problems like this. Based on my experience, I guess it's a good thing to remove such pops from their boxes from time to time because para saan pa yung perfect na condition ng box nyo, di ba? Kung ang pop sa loob ay sira naman. But then, I guess that's one of the tricky things when it comes to collecting. You'll never know the quality of the pop that you're buying if you don't open it. But if you do open it, 
you're risking its value naman. But if you ask me, I would suggest that you open pops with such stands just to make sure na okay sila. But if you're not comfortable with that idea, then go lang. Do whatever makes you happy because that's the essence of collecting anyway. Anyway, what do you think of Mew? Let me know in the comment section below and do share if you are Team OOB, Team NOOB, or Team BIB like me. And don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash for more unboxing videos. Bye!